welcome to a beautiful Monday. It's dreary, it's drizzly, and it's yuck, but it's beautiful anytime you have the beautiful bells of ball ground with us. And we have a new addition today, and we're going to talk today about what you can do to create a beautiful wedding for your family on a shoestring budget and I'm talking shoestring even if your shoestrings broke you can afford this wedding so we're going to talk about that in a little bit we're going to talk about things happening in ball ground and hard work going on in ball ground we're also going to share some birthdays as I always do and I have so many birthdays and if y'all look for you ladies who can really see Miss Paula you had five minutes to get ready this morning <laughs> she you had five minutes that. to get ready well I will just admit it right here and right now I got up an hour later than I normally do. I had weird, weird dreams all night about weddings because I watched this wedding special and it was just goofy. But it interested me enough that I sat there and watched it, watched it, watched it. I went to bed. I was too sleepy, too tired. I've got circles under my eyes. I need some eye concealer. But you know, I thought about, this is not my norm. I'm always early, everything's balanced, and this morning, I was an hour late getting started. That is just not me. So, maybe it was the dreariness. I don't know. So I don't it was know. a good sleepy morning. It was a good sleeping mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Now, we had a good day Friday because we celebrated what? My birthday. Her birthday. <laughs> and you became older than dirt. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to catch her, and I'm not doing yeah too well catching you we had a wonderful we had a really good time laughing we I think we laughed all our we laughed. that we had we and laughed. It was wonderful. and uh, I think that is the greatest mm -hmm. medicine of all and, and it's funny because when we're together the laughter seems to just come naturally yeah. so it was fun it we was can fun. say burger bus and we laugh <laughs> <laughs> We're crazy. Um, speaking of the burger bus, after a long weekend of tearing down kudzu, from the front porch we can now see the burger bus because Freddie is very creative when it comes to getting rid of stuff and he, he chained up, tied up, and, and drug out all this kudzu. And if y'all were looking for kudzu, you missed your opportunity because somebody said, oh, you can make curtain rods out of it, you can make banisters out of it, you can make um, a quilt rack out of it. Everybody was naming all these things you could make. And he said they got 30 minutes to come get this junk right hauling it off. And I said, uh-oh. <laughs> well, you had some good pieces. Some oh my gosh, really some of them were huge. Uh -huh. And I said, I would like to have somebody age kudzu uh -huh. because some of this was so massive and it was so strong and I thought I don't know how long and how old the kudzu was but it was older than dirt it, I think it had to be I think probably it was. older than me <laughs> I don't know Paula <laughs> it's pretty old but uh, we did have a great weekend and you know we need to all find a reason to celebrate it doesn't have to be somebody's birthday it doesn't have to be we could celebrate we could celebrate each other. And last mm -hmm. night, about, well, actually it was about 2 o'clock this morning, I was watching a program that we did at Lawson Chevrolet years ago. And it made me smile, it made me cry, it made me happy, it made me sad. Um, Dub Lawson was there, and Dub Lawson, in my opinion, was the finest man that ever, ever lived. And uh, I just thought how, how priceless those memories and those moments we have with oh, each really? other. Because mm -hmm. one day, we'll look, mm -hmm. and one of us mm -hmm. will be missing. Yeah. And there'll be these memories. There'll yeah. be these amazing exactly. memories. Uh -huh. And so as I was watching that, I thought... Um, it was precious. Bree Tankersley was there and she's no longer here at ETC. She's up in Chattanooga doing her own program. And I just thought how precious these memories are. So we should celebrate the moment. Mm -hmm. The True. moment. Yeah, True. we don't have to have the birthday. Mm -hmm. We don't have to have the anniversary. Mm -hmm. We don't have to have, there's no special reason mm -hmm. to celebrate and we need to get out and celebrate more. So today we're gonna celebrate birthdays. And we're gonna start with one and I get so tickled every single year. As long as I've been in television, I think that I have wished him a happy birthday. So happy birthday to my number one birthday boy, Jackie Bowles. Happy birthday to you. To Ronald Warren, to Ann Duncan, to Joe Holcomb, to Wayne Northcutt, to Becky Bannister, 
to Tim Smithwick, to Joyce Wilkie, Kathy Green, David Chastain, Stephanie Owens, Bob Lester, all the way up in Alaska, and uh, I might say he took my beautiful director and producer of Heart of the Home all the way to Alaska and married her. To Dee Sanford, happy birthday. To Melinda Talent, <coughs> Kenneth Kincaid, Dean Beasley, Julie House, Don Elrod, Greg Childers, Deborah Anderson, Angela McDonald, and to Lee Dunn. And everybody in Jasper mm. remembers walking into Jasper Drugstore yeah. and precious, precious, sweet Martell and Lee Dunn. So happy, happy birthday to each of you. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're thinking of celebrating, you can always go by the Dairy Queen and pick up a celebration ice cream cake because there is nothing <laughs> any better. And if we had one sitting right here, <coughs> we could just declare today a celebration. Just have four spoons. That's right. <laughs> That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? But, but you know, um, celebrating life because we have all seen, Jenny, you've lost friends younger than you. Oh, yes. You've lost yes. friends younger than you. We all... We all have said, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's gone. I can't believe mm -hmm. she's gone. Mm -hmm. And that is what, that's the world we're facing today. So today we want to celebrate Today. all of you. We want to celebrate living. And I put something last night on my Facebook because <clears throat> I went in a store the other day and they had all these spring colored pillows. And I thought, maybe I could spring up my house and I could take away the, the fall winter colors I used and I could spring it up. Well, it didn't work because the color so far I have, it just didn't work. And I got looking around at all the things I have and they're all memories of somebody I loved. And that makes the most beautiful home. It, it just, uh -huh. I can't get rid of this stuff. <laughs> Because it's great grandma's this and it's great aunt's this and it's mama's this and it's like I can't get rid of that stuff so I can't spring my house up but I might find a way maybe I'll just hang a piece of colorful fabric somewhere <laughs> but but it made me realize that if I look at all the things in my house there are precious precious things but the one thing that is pure gold are the memories mm -hmm. of the day that Jenny showed up with food and, and Freddie immediately just <gasps> in the world and then Jenny would show up with food again and Freddie would say it gets better every time she comes. You know? I don't know. I think you're a good one too but <laughs> Jenny keeps me fed. But when we look at our homes the memories of the people who've been there. Absolutely. That's the most important thing. I think that's mm -hmm. it. And we can do the same thing with our gardens or our yards mm -hmm. because we've got, I have memories, memory, memories of plants and trees and shrubs. Sure. And, and actually we're doing an heirloom garden at the Botanical Garden. And wow. so if anyone has any plants that's um, a memory, uh -huh. uh, an heirloom plant, if they would like to let us know. We'll and see, that's awesome. I, I was looking at pictures of Iris and I think that's what got me kind of in a... Uh, because I was looking at all the iris I left when I left a home, yeah. and, and I thought of all these old iris that I'd gotten out of Alabama, so I've decided I want to go back to Alabama, and I want to try to replace these, because I had peach colored iris, I had beautiful deep, deep purple, I had red iris, it was a deep burgundy red, you know, and I just had those beautiful iris, and I thought about those, and those are the plants that you got when you w went to visit a grandmother, mm -hmm. or a great mm -hmm. aunt, or a mother, mm -hmm. or an elderly neighbor, mm -hmm. and she would say, let me send something home with you. And that's what we do. That's what we all do. Well, in the Appalachians, that's the way it went. They they brought bulbs over here, mm -hmm. probably from Holland or someplace like that, and then just started sharing yeah. a few at a time. Exactly. And that's how it came around to all these old homesteads that so beautiful. So they didn't have the box them. stores to go buy no. plants right. from. Uh -uh. That's so right. They shared. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a place up in, uh, just outside between Murphy and Andrews, North Carolina, and one day I, I was just riding and I found this beautiful old fence. It was a weathered and worn fence, but it had the most beautiful red dahlias growing all oh. over it. And so I stopped and I thought, I know these people are going to think I'm crazy. And I'm out with my camera and I'm shooting all these pictures and all these close-up shots. And it was just beautiful. And I was looking at those last night and I thought, you know what? Why didn't I just stop and knock on the door and say, could I have a starting and a cutting of this, this beautiful dahlia? Because Gold. dahlias, do y'all have any dahlias in the garden? Yes, we yes. do. We have some in memory of Mrs. Lila Grogan, who lived across the street from the mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. And also, that's where Grogan's store once was. And she loved dahlias. That was yeah. her favorite thing. There's something about a mm -hmm. dahlia. It reminds you of those grandmothers and those great-grandmothers. Mm -hmm. So so we're going we're gonna to try to encourage you to, if you go and visit an elderly neighbor, 
neighbor, an elderly grandmother or great aunt, or somebody who has those old flowers to share them with the mm -hmm. botanical gardens. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to start with um, there's some wedding wonders going on in the world, and people are spending just ridiculous amounts of money mm -hmm. for basically a 10 minute ceremony, an hour and a half reception. And can you really afford it? And if you can afford it, wouldn't you rather make a down payment on a house? Mm -hmm. If you had a choice, mm -hmm. each of you, if you had a choice, a down mm -hmm. payment on a house or spending 30000 for a wedding, what would you do? I'd take it. The money. The uh, absolutely. Keep yeah. that money, put yeah. it into, I mean, you're, eventually you're going to have children. Put it in a college fund. That's right. Anything. To yeah, get, it's, it's very it's different stupid. when we're looking at the, the youth and their ideas of wedding. So we're going to talk mm -hmm. about that when we come back in just a couple of minutes. We're going to take a commercial break, and I want you to remember all our sponsors, because without them, we wouldn't be here. Um, they mm -hmm. are a big part of what we do here, and I had, I had, y'all, I just worked and worked and worked, and I had four DVDs to share with y'all today, and one of them was of the event I attended on Thursday, and I have to say good morning to the precious ladies who came up to me and said, I watch every day. And I love you and I watch every day and it was so sweet and y'all were just precious and thank you so much and, and to Francis at uh, Blue Ridge Dermatology you did one fantastic event it was awesome what we would uh, hey if we had the leftovers here today we could really party <laughs> we could really party so so it was a wonderful day and Blue Ridge Dermatology one of our sponsors I want to remind you if you haven't checked out the, the amazing makeup that we featured that they're, they've just added, I am going to go and get them to teach me to do this because I was absolutely fascinated with it. So pick up the phone and call them and ask them about it. It's La Bella Donna, and it is a beautiful, beautiful makeup that is so natural looking. Paula, we could look younger. <laughs> yes, we're going to check it out. <laughs> we'll, be back in just a, <laughs> we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. With speeds up to 150 meg, ETC and Ignite delivers more, more, more. More shopping, more music, more learning, more streaming. More speed to power smartphones, movies, and streaming video. More speed for more devices in your home. And more room in your budget with ETC's low pricing and bundled discounts. Get the fastest internet around with Ignite's new 150 meg. More speed, more savings. Call ETC today. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from the University of Georgia. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway. Chevy runs deep in Canton at Bill Holt Chevrolet. Deeper selection, deeper discounts, and we're letting everybody know it. Not just Chevy buyers in Atlanta. Chevy buyers in Blairsville, Blue Ridge, Jasper, and LJ. If you're out there, we're right here with one huge selection at Truck HQ. Always get our lowest prices and friendliest service. Online, BillHoltGM.com. Because when you're talking trucks, you're talking Truck HQ. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageo is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. 
Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Oh, okay, girls, we are back. And, and Jenny, you just were, we were talking about gardening and, and the idea that you have gotten a group of women together, some professional gardeners, some barely know anything about dirt, some of them <laughs> love flowers, and it's just a combination of women. And, and how did you how did you rein in Miss Diane? What did oh, you do? Miss Diana met her through the bank, and she had bought a huge, uh, many acres of O'Mary and Spence Road, and they mm -hmm. did a development. And then she, they were really smart. They bought all this property and then sold to their friends in Marietta That's and created their own, yes, own subdivision. Yes, yeah. and and uh, through knowing her, I invited her to come to the garden club, and she is a master gardener. And so we were lucky to have her and a retired teacher of 30-something years. 32 years. 32 Cock years. County. Oh, my gosh. So, bless you know, your heart. Now, Paula, <laughs> yeah, that's a bless your heart. <laughs> it sure nobody is a likes big to one. work in the garden better than Diane. It's her right. husband, who is a volunteer fire department also, Mike Smith. He um, he says it's all about plants with Diane. Yeah. So. Well, he asked even, um, oh, at what point do you have enough plants? Uh -huh. <laughs> No, he doesn't no. understand. No, he doesn't understand. Well, that's clothes for Jenny and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, you mentioned about me being a teacher. Uh, ball ground is so tiny. Would you believe that I went into the only red light, had a convenience store there, mm -hmm. walked in up to the counter, and this lady looks at me and she said, you were my fifth grade teacher at oh Kennesaw gosh. Elementary. <laughs> and I asked her, uh, you know, I kind of vaguely remembered her. Um, she was 51, oh, and that funny. was 41 years ago, and we run into each other in ball, in ball ground. ground. How cool mm -hmm. was that? How it cool was cool. that? Now, retiring from teaching, um, I was, I mentioned this to Jenny over the weekend, I would love to see somebody in ball ground teach children to grow vegetables. Right. We're, we had teachers meet just this last Tuesday from uh -huh. the STEM Academy, and we're working on doing a children's garden section in our garden mm -hmm. and we want them to have impact into what what goes in and for them to learn from the from the uh, garden mm -hmm. so um, that's also on the to do vegetables is also a great possibility we have a lot of land around ball ground mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. potential to do things like that teach them mm -hmm. right well there's something about when you say we're going to plant a garden and then they watch it grow and then they're like where are the carrots? Where are the beets? <laughs> where where are the things? And, and you're like, they're under the ground. So it's an interesting concept for a kid to see that you put in this tiny, tiny black tea tiny carrot seed mm -hmm. and from that tiny tiny seed comes a beautiful carrot but it's mm -hmm. under the ground and it's kind of an anticipation of waiting because remember when you plant squash mm -hmm. and how quickly yellow crookneck squash grows the grow. kid gets to see almost instant mm -hmm. gratification because there's this squash and overnight it, it's full of blooms and then it's full of the vegetables but with carrots and beets and things like that it's a little bit mm -hmm. it's almost like oh this is a surprise here and you pick it up and there's a carrot oh, yes. so that would be so cool. And the Garden Club of Georgia is really pushing us to do youth gardening. Uh -huh. And the uh, some of the uh, garden, garden clubs in Canton have, like they call it, their little sprouts and the little buds. And uh -huh. they have this group of children. We could have the little kudzus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet I could plant kudzu in it. <laughs> so I think I've talked one of our members, um, Lynn Harris Worthington, into maybe uh, doing that for our our club, the mm -hmm. Annette Gada Garden Club. Yeah, I think that would be awesome because when we look at potatoes, have you ever grown potatoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now see, to me that was the most fascinating mm -hmm. thing I ever did because to, to mm -hmm. watch harvesting potatoes, I mm -hmm. honestly had no idea of how many hundreds of pounds of potatoes you're going to get out of a couple of rows of potatoes. Mm -hmm. And it just blew my mind. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. So now Paula, you mm -hmm. like to paint flowers. Do uh -huh. you 
Do you truly like to get sweaty and dirty in the garden? No. I didn't think <laughs> so. She's I do my not. kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> There's something about certain southern women are supposed to glisten and sweat. So. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> we're going to let these two sweat it out. <laughs> yes, we do that. Uh, yeah. She knows how to do it. She knows how to clean up. Don't, we know how to clean up, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they clean up good. <laughs> we actually have five tons of stone that we have brought into the garden and have outlined the beds in there. And I put those out. And oh, have my some help. Gosh. She really wow. does. I don't wow. know how she does what she does. Yeah, so you have to have a car on standby. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. strong. But now, all of our ladies come out and help sure and at do. one time mm -hmm. or another. Mm -hmm. you know, so even really if you can be a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even watering because, you know, we went through a drought last year. Yes, mm -hmm. we did. And, and there were a lot of things that failed in people's mm -hmm. gardens that they didn't even make anything because the drought and you just can't, you can't handle that and you can't deal with well, it. Well, we have to. a little stream that comes through the corner of the property where the garden is. Mm -hmm. It went bone dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but it had fish in it. It did have fish. Oh my gosh. But full. now it's flowing mm -hmm. again. So mm -hmm. wow. our rain has replenished the Now I water. water. You and water. I also, she does water. <laughs> and the girls that get out and dig, I give them, uh, I give them prints of flowers. <laughs> I, I, I try to repay she's them. She's contributing. She's contributing. Everybody can do it in yeah. their own way. Now mm -hmm. let's talk about weddings because I honestly watched this program this weekend and I was, I was fascinated with it to a point that I thought, are you people serious? But the 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 champion wedding. Which is crazy because did you have a church wedding? Yes, yes. I did. See, our daughters had church weddings, and I just think that there's nothing more beautiful than a bride walking down that church aisle. I just love it, but people are getting away from church weddings, which I wonder about. But um, in this, out of the four competitors, the one who won rented a hotel lobby, and in the lobby, they created the church setting. And I thought, how weird is this? <laughs> she was a Lutheran, and I don't know anything about the Lutherans. I don't know why they didn't do it at the Lutheran church. And it was so interesting because she won, and it was a church setting. And I'm going, ding dong, why didn't you rent the church? And why didn't you do it there? But we used to have church weddings, and we had receptions in the church. And did we get away from that because somebody added alcohol or dancing or yes. something that, that changed? So why don't we go back to church weddings? I love church weddings. And then go out and party afterward. Afterward. Mm -hmm. afterward. If, if the group that wants to go party wanted to go party, you could do that. But, but I had said, seeing this program, I realized that brides are up against... It's a financial burden for your parent, mm -hmm. you know, or if you mm -hmm. haven't been an overachiever and saved thirty or thirty-five thousand dollars, it's a financial burden for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, Jenny, you said that the botanical garden in Ballground is available for weddings. It is. Yes. We've already had two <laughs> weddings, haven't we? Well, one. One I know one. of. Okay. One. Another one is Book. wants to come. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. And and to me, it's such a beautiful setting. I love that it is shaded, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. is really cool because if you do an outdoor wedding, sometimes the heat will get you. Mm -hmm. But it's shaded, it's beautiful, and you have the facilities, so you have the restrooms there at City Hall. Yes, if you reserve it, you mm -hmm. can get the restrooms. And the one thing that I disagree with that y'all did about this, it's too cheap. <laughs> it ought to cost a little bit more money. Maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks. They're mm -hmm. looking at doing that. Yeah. The first one yeah. I think was fifty. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Our managed city manager Eric mm -hmm. Wilmarth is yeah. looking into that. I think a hundred, hundred and fifty is reasonable mm -hmm. and then, you know, um, sure you want the big foo foo deal and you want this and you want that. If it's on a beautiful day and you even got a tent, you can have your reception there, you could right. do it all there. Mm -hmm. We do have a pavilion that was built by as a Eagle Scout project. So mm -hmm. We do have a pavilion with picnic tables underneath it. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And and you know, what if when you look back at your wedding, the important people were there, probably mm -hmm. thirty people mm -hmm. that were truly your your lifeline and your mm -hmm. your true family mm -hmm. and friends. Right. right. And the rest are 
acquaintances. Mm -hmm. So if you turned your wedding back to what it started as, as a beautiful family event, mm -hmm. you could get back to a budget with a wedding. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Right. Why not? And, and you're looking at a down payment on a house. Mm -hmm. Or you're looking at a brand new car coming off the car lot, you know, mm -hmm. when you're paying for a wedding. And, and I think it's wonderful. All the venues have done well, and we've got some beautiful venues around. Yes. But if you're struggling to budget, to keep up with so-and-so's daughter had this great wedding, who cares? Mm -hmm. So-and-so's right. uh -huh. daddy mm -hmm. is at home having a heart attack <laughs> because he's trying to figure out how he's going to pay for this right. wedding right. that his wife and his daughter insisted on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I got really tickled when I looked at the dresses on these brides, the four competitions in, in dresses. One looked like party girl, big party girl. And the other three were nice, um, but they were competing with each other, and one was going over the top and over the top, and they didn't disclose the price of dresses. But I've watched Bridezilla enough to know that some girls will walk in with a $2,000 budget, and then they see somebody else with a $9,000 dress mm -hmm. on, and they've got to have that dress. Mm -hmm. Jenny, would you have ever paid $9,000 for a no, wedding I dress? No, I wouldn't. As a matter of fact, <laughs> one of my friends had a bride, a, her wedding dress. She had gotten off a of bride magazine. I mean, it was really expensive and beautiful, but I was having my hair done, and her sister said, oh, since you're getting married, Faye has this beautiful dress that she bought a couple of years ago, and would you like to wear it? And I thought, gee, I, you know, what if I have a daughter I want to pass it on to? But then I got to thinking about the money, mm -hmm. and I thought, no, I would buy that. I would get married in it. I would stuff it in a box and mm -hmm. put it away, and it'd turn yellow. Right. So I thought, this would be a big savings. Yes. So I said, yes, I will wear her dress. She said, she only weighed 98 pounds, and I thought, well, I just weigh 103. So <laughs> <laughs> I fit into it fine and uh, save myself a bunch of money. And I yeah. have not regretted it because I only had one son. So. All right, that's all right. So and I, I did, cannot I see Joey regret. in that dress. No. <laughs> <laughs> I that never so happened. So that saved a bunch. And I got married sure at church. Is. It didn't cost anything. Had my family and friends. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and your we had a little reception mm -hmm. there in the church. And right. uh, mine was almost like a citizen's bank wedding because I had people from the <laughs> bank <laughs> that played the piano, that sang, that served the reception at the reception. So, <laughs> Mr. Jones didn't give me away. He was the president of the bank at that time, but <laughs> but it was it saved a lot of money. Sure, it does. And and if you budget, and and if you look at, you know. Um, Angela bought a, a wedding, not a wedding dress, but a prom dress one day at a thrift store. And I will never forget this because she redid this dress and she walked into the Pickens High School prom and somebody said, and we knew who it belonged to the year before, and somebody said, isn't that your dress from last year? And the, and the girl who owned it said, no, it doesn't look like it. Well, yes, it was her dress. Was but Angela redone. had redesigned it to a point mm -hmm. that it looked like her dress. Yes, it was. And it was her dress, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful. She changed it from it was white with peach accents. She changed it to white with gorgeous black accents, mm -hmm. black and rhinestones, and it was mm -hmm. just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny because it saved us. I think we got it for $150, and if I remember, that dress was a whole lot more than 150 mm -hmm. before we got it. So. Well, I had a niece that went to uh, J.C. Penney Outlet and bought some beautiful coral dresses for her bridesmaids, mm -hmm. and uh, she asked Paul and I to direct the wedding and, and get the flowers. Well, luckily, the daylilies were blooming about mm -hmm. that time, mm -hmm. so there was the coral daylilies. We put that in ivy in the windows of the church mm -hmm. and decorated with those flowers, and she said this so is probably... Budget? She made mm -hmm. her own bouquets. She got the flowers mm -hmm. herself and mm -hmm. made the, uh, her own bouquets for the girls, and she said this probably the least expensive wedding ever, but it was beautiful. beautiful. It was just absolutely beautiful. We couldn't believe the fact that those day dresses lilies. and and mm -hmm. and the day lilies were mm -hmm. the same color. And yeah, we used the candles beautiful. with that color, and it was mm -hmm. just absolutely gorgeous. But the funniest thing that happened is that at the reception, the mother had to go back home to take care of her husband, who was. Um, disabled at that time and the bride had to it's like we looked around there's nobody to take the mother back home so the bride said well I'll, I'll just have to carry you from the community building back home so they jump in the car but they'd already decorated the car and it said just <laughs> married <laughs> 
<laughs> so here was the mother of the bride and the bride going through town, just married, and people were going. <laughs> and you'll have to read the story I, I, I wrote about this wedding. <laughs> Weddings can be fun. And, and, and why stress it out to a point that somebody is going to be miserable over it? Mm -hmm. When when I was watching these programs this weekend, and they were really, they were kind to each other, but they were a little bit, you know, and, and one of them, if I had paid for the wedding where she was, the food looked like yuck, mm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and then one of them, the food was fantastic over the top. But the one that's food was fantastic over the top got some of the lowest points because of other things that happened with her wedding. And so when you watch it, it doesn't matter what you spend and what you do. You're not going to please no. everybody. No. You're no not going to please uh -uh. everybody. Uh -uh. And and so why not do what makes you happy? And and to me, to be happy was to see the daughters walking down the aisle at Cool Springs Baptist Church mm -hmm. and knowing that we walked from that event right here 10 feet to that reception mm -hmm. hall and mm -hmm. it was wonderful mm -hmm. and everything was great and and there was no stress over it because the budget was bearable mm -hmm. and I think that's something that people need to look at now to to reserve the gardens now that we've told everybody in the world that you can <laughs> use the botanical <laughs> gardens is it going to be hard to get it are people calling and asking and, and who do they call how do they find out about it I would think either uh, they're working Diane on the details or, uh, of it. Okay. Or and Eric at City Hall. At City Hall. And one of the special things we're going to have is in June we're going to have a dedication of the kiosk that is in the garden and also mm -hmm. uh, is celebrating National Garden Week. Well, Eric Wilmarth has built a footbridge that's in the garden. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to build a bridge over the creek. So there will be a beautiful bridge that would be a beautiful setting Gorgeous. for pictures. Gorgeous, yes, pictures. yes, yes, yes. That leads over to the butterfly garden. Right. And by the way, our yes. butterfly garden has the um, Rosalind Carter butterfly trail mm -hmm. been designated as it's that. It's the swallowtail butterfly, it's the state butterfly, and we have it in that shape. So it's fabulous. Well, I can't wait for people. To, the one thing, I took my sister to see two things when, when she came to town. I took her to the Botanical Gardens and I took her to the Burger Bus. And and mm -hmm. out of those two things, the Botanical Gardens was the hit because it the Burger Bus was great. The food's always wonderful, but it, it was for the kids. We went there for the kids to get to see the bus. The kids loved the mm -hmm. bus, but she loved the old houses and ball ground, and she loved the flowers. And and just, you know, and how how many years have y'all, is this two years? Just two. This? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Two really growing yep. years, mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. developing. Mm -hmm. We had the ribbon cut in 2015, 2016. We had a dedication, mm -hmm. and this year we'll have the unveiling. Well, of on the Tuesday kiosk. when I was there with the teachers, th this group of ladies just descended into the garden, and mm -hmm. they came over and they said they wanted to see the garden. Well, come to find out, they were had been to Gibbs Gardens. There were nine of them mm -hmm. and three cars. Mm -hmm. They were had uh, been to Gibbs Gardens, saw our little bitty sign saying Botanical Garden with an arrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They came and they want, they found our garden. Well, mm -hmm. they were from Greensboro, North Carolina. What about them? And they mm -hmm. loved it. And so I toured them all around the garden and showed them everything. They were garden club master gardener ladies, and mm -hmm. they were touring Georgia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what would make the garden better? I'm sitting here, you know, my brain's always working. <laughs> we could turn Vicky's house into a sandwich shop, and we could offer the best, <laughs> best chicken salad on earth, and we could have, we could have really good Reuben sandwiches. And we could just have, I'm just saying that people, if we could make that garden a destination of choice for other visitors who come to town. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, that little sign, I see it every day. But a lot of people miss it and they'll say, well, where is that garden you always talk about? And I said, it's right down by City Hall. Well, where is City Hall? Well, it's right down that road. There it is. <laughs> so, so we have to get people used to coming that way. Now, with the new big factory coming into town, Valley Street's getting very busy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is it on that very. road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is yeah. On that road. Yeah, so I think that will maybe help the gardens too, that people will say, oh, there it is, mm -hmm. there it is. Now, is there a rose garden in mind? Are you thinking about roses? Roses, if you do the hybrid roses, they're very difficult. If you go to Gibbs Gardens, you will not see any, and mm -hmm. that's because he tried them and didn't work. Okay. He uses knockout ones. But we're using a kind that's called drift roses, and we've mixed them in with day 
daily. So we have like a daily walk with roses mm -hmm. that will get no higher than maybe two feet or three feet wide. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do have roses and we're adding drift roses and things that will blend in. Mm -hmm. so and we have the other roses to the right of the butterfly garden right. on the bank yeah. there. But they're knockouts. Mm -hmm. Those are mm -hmm. carefree. Yes, We want yes. carefree. Mm -hmm. we, definitely. we need color. Yeah, color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now we're building a bog garden. If you're not familiar with what that is, um, it is a, a, a garden that would have pitcher plants or like um, uh, the ones that will eat insects and mm -hmm. anything that likes wet feet. Like a Venus flytrap, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So the kids could watch that. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we're building that and an herb garden is under construction. And we're, um, a Japanese again, the garden. bridge is going to be built. We're uh -huh. doing a Japanese garden. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky. And I have to say, my gift from last year, the little tree that y'all gave us, mm -hmm. tiny little blue, oh, tiny good. little leaves are coming out, out on it, and, and it oh, looks good. so good oh, because over fantastic. the winter, I would go out there and say, Bubba, you ain't going to make it on you. <laughs> And, and Bubba, Bubba made it. <laughs> Bubba looks so good. All right. Yay, because you know, transplanting. And what about camellias? Are there camellias? We do have some camellias, okay. and they did bloom this year. I love oh, yes, the South beautiful. and camellias. That's oh, just, yes. Yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. the thing. And there's nothing. There's actually a, a house on a street very close to Botanical Gardens, and I can't remember who lives there. But up against her house, she has three of the most beautiful. It's near where Tom lives. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful camellias, and they are just full. I mean, they were packed full, and I just thought, I would love to stop and have a few of those. <laughs> well, I bought a whole bunch of them when I was living at Bent Tree and put them out, but they didn't do well up there mm -hmm. in the woods. They just didn't and do well And they say to all. put them near a house or somewhere to mm -hmm. protect mm -hmm. them from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they mm -hmm. need some protection, but they're so beautiful, so beautiful. Now, um, I wish we, we, we were going to have pictures of the gardens today. We were going to have pictures of all grounds today. <laughs> we were going to have a lot of things today that didn't happen <laughs> because, um, honestly, y'all, I worked two and a half hours of Friday on getting this stuff done, and then I went yesterday afternoon, 2.30 to 3.30, to 5.30, and I worked, and then <clears throat> after all the stuff I did, the, the disc didn't print, so I don't know what went wrong, mm -hmm. but I think it's time for a new computer, so. <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I was really ill with it because we wanted to share the gardens. There are a lot of things in downtown Ballground that people don't see because they don't get off the main drag. Mm -hmm. And we want to ask them, get off the main drag. Go look at the gym floor that the money was raised mm -hmm. when last year. Yes. The Lions Club. And, mm -hmm. and, and the Lions Club did that. There are so many things happening in Ballground, and it's because people are giving back. Mm -hmm. They're giving back. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things. Have you seen, Jenny, as new folks come in, they're interested in helping? Oh, yes. They're interested in everything about ball ground the history which tomorrow night the historical society is having a meeting at city hall at seven o'clock and we're going to be telling the history of the citizens bank mm -hmm. that's right in town and are you going to tell about the robberies yes y'all have <laughs> got to come you have got to come now i'm telling you if you have ever i worked in a jewelry store that was robbed a couple of times and actually some people were killed in the store and um I remember what it was like to always be on guard and and I can't imagine working in a small mm -hmm. bank mm -hmm. where you knew you were going to get hit and you were going to get hit and you were going to get hit again. <laughs> was it a total of four robberies? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yep. and you think about that and in ball ground and one time they got a whole lot of money yes. and sometimes uh -huh. they got small amounts mm -hmm. of money. Mm -hmm. But, but sometimes they didn't get any but sometimes that was one they time didn't. they didn't. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and y'all have got to hear that story <laughs> tomorrow night and this is at City Hall in ball ground. Right. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock. Seven, seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Karen Jordan's our new president, and uh, Mayor Rick Roberts, he worked at the bank. He will be there, and Tony Stamps <laughs> and Dale Morrissey from Reinhardt College plans uh -huh. to come. So we've got uh, quite a few people that work there. Vicki Haynes and uh, Jamie Tatum that's planning to come. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have a good event and tell the story of how many Citizens years, Bank. What, how many years were covered in this? Oh, that's from 1926 till now, actually. We converted to uh, regions in 96. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep. So, a lot of, lot of memories there. So. And the mm -hmm. first building in 1926, where was that first building? That was south, of, well, I guess you'd say east, just below the Green Hen, where okay. it is now, Main right. Street. Mm -hmm. That's where right there. Actually, Tom Cruise's crew used that for the bank they robbery, did. didn't they? They did. Yeah. They yeah. went in there. Mm -hmm. Now, what's happening with that building right now? There is under construction. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. Did but they ever the get the vault out? Still in the vault still in there. See, I think y'all leave that vault. Well, I, I totally so told him. I said, don't, Chris, don't mess 
is with this vault. Leave this vault right where, right where it is. There's a building in Blue Ridge that has the vault right in the middle of the building, and it'll always be there. Oh, yes, I've been in there yes, before. It's yes, neat. and I think that that vault is like amazing history and amazing cool. It's mm -hmm. just cool. Mm -hmm. And and I, I like that I think it should stay. Mm -hmm. I think it should stay. Not I wish we could get that. I'm sorry. I wish we could get the old bank to have it as a guest center when mm -hmm. people come into ball ground a welcome, sure. welcome center, yeah. Yeah. center. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that and you awesome. mentioned the gym and the gym floor because the, we the Lions Club did do this new uh, gym floor project mm -hmm. we're going to be having um, a program there the ball ground arts and crafts skill and this mm -hmm. is another thing that's helping, ball, helping we've got the ball ground historical society the art skill the garden club business uh, business association, association and Lions mm -hmm. Club and the lodge and mm -hmm. we've got a lot of people working together all those few people mm -hmm. but we're going to have uh, Kirk Sutton to do a Mark Twain show May mm -hmm. the 20th in the gym. Mm -hmm. So hope everybody comes out and sees May that May the too. 20th. Mm -hmm. And ladies, do you know the head count on how many kids were playing ball in ball ground this weekend? No, but probably Hundreds. Ooh, Hundreds. Really? It uh -huh. was crazy and that's what I went I took pictures of the ball field and the parents and the cars and the parking and then we went up on top of the hill at uh, Grandma Freddie's Grandma Zonley's property and took pictures down to the ball ground to the um, ball fields and it was just car after car after car. We're generating a lot of traffic in downtown Ball yes. Ground. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of folks coming mm -hmm. to Ball Ground. And they'd use the gym for tournaments also. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Mickey O'Malley, who's a councilman, he's in charge of that. So we have lots of But they're going to do a new tournaments. community building. And also they're, uh, they, where we have the old um, fire station, they're going to make a senior center. <gasps> That's so, good. Okay, That's so good. they decided against that. the police department and decided they're I, they're going to put them somewhere. <laughs> okay, okay. Because we had heard it was going to be the police department. That's what be Eric there. said just this week. Okay, so, so senior well, center good. and oh, that's oh, and also a community building. And they won't tear that one down until the other one is built. Good. But they are going to tear down the one that's there. If they build it's a okay new one. It's okay if they build a new one. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, will it We're be okay. in the same location? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. In that okay. general yeah. area. Okay. Okay. Because from the top of the hill looking down Saturday, you could tell that people, and I don't know if these were local people, I don't know if they're local teams, but sometimes but, they have tournaments. Yeah. There were a lot of people mm -hmm. there, and it was yeah. early in the morning until mm -hmm. late in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now, new businesses, when you talk about businesses coming to Ballroom, we're still missing a lot of things we're oh, still yes. missing the shopping experience mm -hmm. we have a couple of great shops mm -hmm. we need more we need somewhere that you can walk in and buy a dress for ladies mm -hmm. that would be nice and a grocery that store. Store. that's and what nice i'm too. thinking i'm thinking <laughs> grocery <laughs> store because that is probably the right. only downfall i see is i have become a Dollar General shopper. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Dollar General. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's like if, if it's coming out of the house, it's Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's convenient. It's and our that's only what place to shop. Looking for. Mm -hmm. yeah. I so spend at do. least $50 there every week. Every week. Mm -hmm. We all know that we need a grocery store mm -hmm. in Ball Ground. Mm -hmm. So what's the holdup? Why do you think we haven't they gotten one? They count the roofs, and if there are not enough people, <laughs> houses, they don't build. <laughs> This but is I what Karen tell told me. Not. They waited. They they need more houses. That's what she yeah. said. Seriously, they won't, but they it's won't really do. there's a boom right now. There sure, there are at is. least eighty mm -hmm. houses that are on my road that are built within the last year. But we supported yeah. a thrift town market at exactly. one time, and he did really well. And we so didn't have the outlying yeah. Yeah. developments. I, even an IGA Foothills, mm -hmm. you know, has mm -hmm. a small mm -hmm. store yeah. over yeah. by Big Canoe. Mm -hmm. If yeah. they can have a grocery store, why can't we have a grocery store? Well, Jill is going to have. Have a bakery open very soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jill's Bakery in Canton is now moved to Ball Ground. I saw that, um, but Jill's Bakery doesn't fit the bill for when I need eggs or when I need <laughs> milk. An onion. I needed an Tomato. onion the other day, and I you need, can't even get that at the I, Dollar General. No, no. Mm -hmm. I need some fresh stuff, and I was just. But well, like, we do oh. have the fresh markets that are on mineral, one on Mineral Springs mm -hmm. near the Lions Dairy. I tell people how to and get. And also on Mary yeah. and uh, also on Mary and Spence, there's another one. They are certified Georgia grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everything is organic and wonderful. And what is it, Emily's Garden? Right yes, that's, daughter, the, that's the one. Garden. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of Marion Spence. I yeah. live at the end of the road. Yeah, but we yeah. have to wait till the season. To we get have that. to wait. Yeah. That's, right. <laughs> that's right. You can't we have your onion until. Do you think we could do the protest to walk around with signs? <laughs> we want to 
grocery store. We really do want to go. Well, and I want big trucks out of town. They have awesome well, main street. That's, that's especially a, the chicken trucks. Yeah, yeah that's a whole nother ball game right uh -huh. there. Yeah, and, and for years they were going to do the routing. They were going to change it. They were going to do this. We don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. because it, it's truly is the state of Georgia mm -hmm. in charge of what is Yes, they are. The DOT. Yeah, the yeah. 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 DOT yeah. is there in charge. There are 1,500 major trucks, 14, uh, what, 18-wheelers go through town every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And we have potholes and we have patches in the potholes. <laughs> it's just so, mm -hmm. so bad. So. But go home tonight and try to... Um, Clean up your house without something a trucker brought you. So oh, I know. there exactly. you go. We've got to have. We have to we provide a better route. route for the, the trucks. Route yes. around yes. town is yep. what we, yes, we, we have to that. have a better route for the truckers <laughs> because without trucks, America stops. Mm -hmm. We so. know that, don't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and go sit. Try to cook chicken and dumplings without a chicken coming through there. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to have chicken to dump in the water. Mm -hmm. So so it's we okay really as do. long as they keep the guts out. <laughs> I know. I'll never forget well, that day we sat on the side of the road after yes. the gut truck had come through there. Well, my husband used to drive one of those gut trucks, Ooh. and it's so weird because he would come home, and the smell came with him. <laughs> yeah, but he brought home the, the money, Auburn didn't he? Lime it? helps. Yes, Sprinkle it lime does. On yes, it. it does. Yes, it does. But, but um, truly, there are so many good things happening in Bob Brown. It's going to oh, only get better. It's going to get mm -hmm. better. But we do need a grocery store, yep. and I think if if the number of houses I think that's a greed factor mm -hmm. because they know we're growing. They mm -hmm. know that we're going to boom. Mm -hmm. We're beginning to boom now. Mm -hmm. Why not come on and give us a chance? Exactly. You know, exactly. I, I think that mm -hmm. the stores are being greedy. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if you're a major chain or an IGA. There's a little IGA up in McKaysville and Copper Hill. It's a tiny little store, but it has a wonderful meat market. It has fresh vegetables. It has everything they need. And I guarantee you, our popula population is not only bigger than theirs, mm -hmm. it is more affluent than than theirs because we have better jobs in the area and we have more people working every day so ball ground deserves a store just as much as anybody mm -hmm. else does some mm -hmm. entrepreneur needs to come out needs to hear this <coughs> and set up exactly. because mm -hmm. we did support a good store yeah at yeah. one time and, and we oh, can I certainly do it now yeah. oh, yes it's very and ground beef fresh three pounds meat. per dollar what a joke <laughs> <laughs> And we had the little mar meat market down below us too. That oh, yes. uh -huh. uh, he killed his own meat every yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Jones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Jones. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, it is time for us to take a commercial break. And uh, I, I, I gotta say again, thank you to our new sponsor, the Dairy Queen, and to all our old sponsors. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. We still have a couple of slots we could fill with sponsors. So if you're looking to get the word out of what you're doing, we have great bargains available here on the Sherry Show. Pick up the phone and call me at 404-375. 0590. And if you are looking for real estate, I can sell you your starter home or I can sell you your dream home. We can start at 70000 and we can go to 925 in a snap of just like that. <laughs> it's so simple to do. Pick up the phone and call me and I'll help you to make your dreams of living in these mountains the truth. Now, mm -hmm. would you leave these mountains now that you've been Absolutely here? Absolutely not. No way. Mm -hmm. We can't run these people off once they get here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be back shortly. And for y'all who are joining You have never been so happy Dancing, swinging, laughing at me Smile on my face It's happiness for days Uh-oh You are everything I need Happy ever after will be Couldn't even dream a better Couldn't even dream a better way Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. 
Since 1962, Gilmer Towing has been serving the North Georgia area and would like to say thanks to all of our customers. For over 48 years, Gilmer Towing has carried on a family tradition with an experienced and friendly staff that offers 24-hour damage-free towing, unlocks, and four-wheel drive recovery. So when you're stuck in a ditch, tires flat, or car won't start, give us a call. Local or long hauls, big or small, Gilmer Towing will get them all. Give us a call today at 706-636-4TOW. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> Best agents in the business. Call Ed Steph in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Okay, we're back, and while while y'all were taking care of our commercial business, we were talking about some of the events that are going to be happening in Ball Ground that are free. And Jenny, will you go over them again real quickly, and okay. then we're going to talk about this bridge. Sure. May the 6th, we'll have the Blackwell Boys Band concert in the park at 7 o'clock. On the 20th, we'll have trade days and a movie in the park, Zootopia. And uh, it's only cost $5 to get a space there. Call mm -hmm. Carla Weaver at City Hall, 770-735-2123. Mm -hmm. And then June the 3rd, we'll have the local legends concert at the park, 7 o'clock. And those and then, concerts are all free. free. Yes, bring those are free. And, bring, and just and come, bring your family, and enjoy the enjoy, evening. Enjoy, yeah. 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 Ice cream down at Martin's General Store, and just eat there and have a great time. Mm -hmm. And then June the 17th, we'll have another movie in the park, The Secret Life of Pets. Okay. And then I've got others. But and we'll Diane, wait. tell me about that brick. Tell me a little bit about well, this. The way we finance the garden is that we have sold brick, mm -hmm. and we have, to this point, have we have uh, sold sold in grave brick we have sold over 500 mm -hmm. we keep a let we keep four fourteen dollars out of the twenty five dollars mm -hmm. and eleven of it goes to the engraver and this one we've got a new engraver and this one says our doggy children Haley, Gracie, and Dolly, <laughs> and has little footprints across. So people can do anything mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. the brick. And it's a wonderful way to honor someone. Um, <coughs> uh, just a, a great, it's permanent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> and we're uh, going to dedicate the kiosk, which is a beautiful four foot marble. I saw that. Um, it it's is gorgeous. fabulous. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We got that from Blue well, Ridge Granite. Yes. One of the things yes. that I think is so special about it, it you can donate a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, two fifty, or a hundred. All of that would be tax deductible. But it's a way you can honor someone. Well, this wonderful gentleman in, in Ball Ground had been blessed and mm -hmm. had, had some extra money. He gave eleven thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Yeah. But what he did, he took each person that was important to him. So he had a $1,000 that's engraved on the marble, uh -huh. and then he has 10 more thousand section that were people that were important to him in his life mm -hmm. in a yeah. way to honor them. That's I awesome. think that's and, wonderful. And if we do it now, we can add a name now, but it cost $125. Right. We can have to someone come down to add mm -hmm. the name, but it's right. $125 per name. Mm -hmm. So, um, But you have to give the 250 so forth to the gardens mm -hmm. in order to get that, but you have to pay the cost of right. $125 to get it done. Mm -hmm. And that helps finance all the different ideas we have and, right. and uh, keep everything beautiful. We actually do the baskets in town if you've been through Baldwin. Yes, and they're always so pretty. We do the baskets in town. We mm -hmm. also put some baskets around the school. 
and we water them. Mm -hmm. and the, the ladies in our we garden have, club. I, I, I can water. attest to that because I'll be crossing the road and go get <laughs> gas in the morning, and there's ladies with their little jugs. That's right. Like, bless uh -huh. their hearts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. 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 But you were talking about sweet potatoes. We actually, as one of the plants that go in the basket, is the sweet potato plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I clean it out at the end of the season, there's sweet potatoes in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your reward for yeah. doing that. And you know, one of my favorite projects in school was to take a sweet potato and to grow it as mm -hmm. a vine. And I can mm -hmm. remember during the process, we used it for a science project. Mm -hmm. It sat in the kitchen window at home, and we were just fascinated with how fast it grew, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's very popular to put in baskets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, when when people want to come and visit the gardens, is there ever, I mean, I know y'all are there on work days. Do you ever have, is there a phone number people could call if they wanted to tour the gardens and they wanted you to tell them about it? Well, I think if you would just notify the, um, the city hall. Mm -hmm. um, I'm retired, of course, and I'm always doing things, and uh, we could certainly set up a time. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, one of the things I didn't mention, uh, we have a special garden, uh, a native plant garden, and one of the treasures we have in our, that garden, we have 25 pink lady slipper orchids. Wow. These are the rare ones. We rescued them from a site that was going to be bulldozed, mm -hmm. and they're starting to come up. We also have turkey beard, which is another endangered plant. I have them on my property, and mm -hmm. we brought ones that you can see what they look like. But we'll have a bird's foot violet, and one of the coolest ones is the sensitive briar. Anybody familiar I do, with that? I do. I know. It, it is a briar, mm -hmm. and you uh, it has little pink puff balls on it, and it's a mine. Well, when you take that branch and you rub your hand over it, you will actually see it close up. And I, I thought that would be a great mm -hmm, project for kids. school. Yeah. How does that work? Yeah. That you can actually see it close up. Wow. Wow. So, mm -hmm. But we've got so many wonderful things to, to teach and to um, have samples. And if it's growing wild in, in this area, it's in the garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a lady like yesterday that. at church to say that uh, her niece is having selling her property and they'll be coming in and to bulldoze oh. and that we're welcome to come over to call her and get some of the old native plants. Mm -hmm. That's that's amazing right. because there are so many properties being bulldozed and when you think about it, I went back to a, a corner lot down in Forsyth County where Don's grandmother used to have those huge dahlias oh my and gosh, I went where the old those. building was and I knew where it was and I didn't find any bulbs mm -hmm. and it just broke my heart because I know that they were under the ground because I know for years and years and years she had them. Mm -hmm. But maybe I wasn't digging in the right spot. But I yeah. said, you know, before the property is bulldozed and when you know where they were, then mm -hmm. you need to get out there and mm -hmm. save those. And yes. it's so important. Okay, again, if people are interested, they can call City Hall in, in uh, Ball Ground and they can get information. And the they price can call for me. price, yeah, call Jenny, give mm -hmm. your phone number 770 735 2062. There you if go. If you want a tour, we'll, we'll find a will. And, and, and we have to, we have to say this we're just going to stand up for church weddings because I can tell you <laughs> that church wedding in a bar and dress led to how many years have you and David been married? 50 years. 50, 50 years, years in October. See, mm -hmm. church wedding, bar and dress didn't cost her mama an arm and a leg and it lasted 50 years. And she didn't have to pay for the church either. <laughs> Sharp Mountain if Church. If you attend that church, you usually don't have to right. pay for it. <laughs> and, and you know, I think we need to go back to looking at those beautiful church weddings. And and you know, um, I hope the venues do well, and that's great if you've got all that money in the world and you want to spend that money. But when you're thinking about that special time of your life, that church aisle and just how precious that is, I, I think we need to go back to a little bit of that. Love it. Love it. Love We've it. been married 47 years. Got married in church. In a bar address. No. no. <laughs> Her family was more wealthy than that. <laughs> I worked at Citizens Bank, so I think I made that. Well, I got tickled when we were talking about, you said something about the JCPenney Outlet. If it weren't for JCPenney Outlets, I could not have pulled off three of the most beautiful weddings in Pickens County. Right. <laughs> because we got all the bridesmaids' dresses there, and they were fantastic, fantastic prices. And those are things we miss, too. Mm -hmm. And we have to say, nobody misses anything in Ballground more than I miss Tub and Geneva Say's store. Right. I bought clothes for me every single day <laughs> out of that store. We don't have anything like that anymore. No, we don't. We have nothing where you can walk in and get your kid a pair of jeans. You can get you a dress. It, we just we need that. So if you're if you're 
thinking of opening a business in North Georgia, Bowground is the place to be. Right, girls? Great, right. great place. Right, girls. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. I love you, five minutes. Love you, dear. You're not ready in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did. I can't believe it. We're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. And remember, if you're looking for a home in these beautiful mountains, your heart's in the mountains, your home should be too. Pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. I will put you in the master of the disaster that needs to be redone or I will put you in a mansion on a hill. Just pick up the phone and call me. I'll see you again soon. Only on ETC. Don't forget this afternoon at 5 o'clock, trading time coming your way. You got